Okay, so we start off basically, and basically it's a freeze frame. And basically, the, I don't know what's up with the camera. Sometimes you'll get it live. Maybe a lot of people are looking at it. But I will refresh, and we'll go through data, so forth and so on, through the day. And but you can see all the star propagation right now. And we'll take a look at Worldwide Telescope and see what we have for this current time. Uh, basically, you can't miss it. Uh, I was lucky on, I believe it was Saturday, that I got movie action. So, uh, which was weird because I would think there would really be a lot more people on the weekend. But I think people basically get, everybody screws around at work, you know, and gets away with what they can get away with on their computer and watch what they can watch without their overlords getting over. Uh, always be careful at work because most every company out there goes ahead and gets somebody either in-house or hires some agency to... Uh, observe everything that everybody's looking on their internet website at your job. Yep. And you just got to be careful about that stuff like that. That's why there's a good percentage. I think I've got something like, uh, which I think is kind of cool, but I've got like, I think it's somewhere between 13 at the lowest to the highest 30% of my uh, people who upload or, yeah, upload or download my videos. Uh, so, it's very interesting. I mean, people on the go want to know, you know what I'm saying, whether it's, it doesn't really matter. You've got a lot of demographic there on cell phone. You know, it is a computer in your pocket, basically. There's more than a million gates in there, ladies and gentlemen. If anybody knows electrical, million gates, folks, electrical gates, or electrical switches, micro switches, okay? Uh, Basically, in the industry, you kind of call it a queer gate because basically it's an and or nor gate. Okay, and there's more than a million of them in there. And matter of fact, we since it's micro, it's really a wild gate because there's way more than and or nor. It's basically stargate. There are some very unique gates in your cell phone, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, and even if you bought a new computer or this, that, or whatever. So. Uh, an old computer, maybe about two years old, this 2012 right now, is probably the best thing to have your hands on. Don't plug it into the flipping wall into an internet. If you want any, if you got any information in there, do not plug it into the wall, ladies and gentlemen. You want an internet computer, and you want one that's never got plugged into the wall at all. Gold, okay? Because you can do all your crap on there. You don't feed anything out, okay? That means you don't hook up your fax machine. You don't ever hook that up on that computer. You don't hook up anything that will go in or out. Okay, And if there's a wireless system on it, you take it out. And if there's a webcam on it, you tape over it. Okay, So a little bit more tech and data sharing with Vino Big Brick, Vino Black. Okay, okay now, uh, Vino Black Day, ladies and gentlemen. That's where it comes from. Basically, all this stuff is looking at objects in space, and nothing's probably going to hit us. It's just the idea of what will Earth hit as it flies through space at more than 66,000 miles an hour. And we might be going faster than that right now. I mean, looked at earthquakes today. But this is the most recent, so we'll take a world look at Worldwide Telescope and take a little peeky poo at this. And you know what's going on with rats at CPM. You know, you can look around on the internet for that. Uh, weather, just like Dutch's channel and everybody that's in truth. Weather daily. You got weather in space, you got weather here on Earth, and you got weather that you can't see. Rads and CPM daily, ladies and gentlemen, all over the world. Especially because of Fuka Fudge Up. And this is how you know that you're at the right and you're not propagated away because that should be your background right now. Uh, sometimes if you're in a gray background, you're probably stuck in a Kerasoft or some private power money and control uh, hacking, quarantine you. And as you see in this one, a lot of things will get uh, probably, and it could be, there could be in there trolling and the idea that maybe one of the people that Dutch is friends with, see, they don't like this stuff. And I don't have anything on my window watch. I'll show you that basically this is, when people probably give you an email, it's probably Kerasoft or some BS because I don't have anything running. Okay? Nothing. And then they get this shit. And... My, there ain't no problem with my CPU usage. All right, so anyway, look for a background like this. Dutch has got that it's because basically we were white 
and I'm not even sure, don't even really, because it doesn't matter. You have no control what Mother Nature and space and whatever, all spirits, any religions or anything like that, and scientific and all that have control because whatever's going to happen is going to happen, okay? And uh, that uh, old saying that shit happens, well, yeah, <clears throat> but at the same time, uh, equal and or more stronger reaction okay to what shit happens so that has been the history of being on black and it will always go down in history as the sharper reaction to shit happens okay so anyway big prick here telling everybody the truth of what's really going on around the world and basically this volcano is a hot topic right now i mean you got mother nature and all these volcanoes all the way around the world let's go to rsoe so down there by cuba and puerto rico and so forth uh the big gap in uh, south of the Florida Keys and so forth, south of Cuba. Uh, if anything's going to open up, it's going to open up down there. It's been opening up for a long time. And if you look at these maps, if you go to RSOE or if you go to Google, they will show you these epicenters all over the growth cracks of Earth, all over the world, and you will denote and see where there's stress fractures, major league at, okay? little corners and so forth and so on and that is and I think I could just zoom in on it I think from this map here get in too close pop out a little bit and you will see they have all this charted and they keep an eye on it all the time and this is a very big and as you see that's a mountainous region underneath the water volcano growing up okay so the earth is growing ladies and gentlemen pressure can you imagine if we didn't drill for oil and I see people that are pro and I'm pro drill. I don't give a rat's ass. You got you wouldn't be free and be able to have freedom of speech, ladies and gentlemen, if you didn't have JP fuel. That is jet fuel, ladies and gentlemen. We own the skies, ladies and gentlemen. You should kiss pretty much the ass of any US Air Force or Navy or Army or Marines. Everything. The whole the whole ball of wax because we are free and can spooge our mouth every day 24 7 because the u.s military kicks ass and keeps us with our constitutional rights all the time so with all the drilling that you release pressure on earth we still have earth growing like crazy okay volcano action that we're showing you and all these earthquakes and these fault lines these are fault lines underneath the ocean and you got an underwater volcano and all the volcanoes in the world are I've showed you footage of overseas over in, in the Middle East and stuff like that underneath the water volcanoes with so much pressure that they blow up even above the water and they're below the water okay so this has been going on crazy there's a crazy shelf over there that's real deep and so forth and so on so if, around the Turks Caicos Islands Puerto Rico San Juan Dominican Republic Haiti okay it's all a really wild earthquake fault zone there and you see all these fault zones all over the world folks when you go to these maps okay and you can find all the volcanoes and everything that's going on in the world folks now let's go up and take a look we've got some action up here and that's why it's very important in Cali because the fault line comes right up on the coast and right off on the land and through in there and we've seen I mean all you gotta do is look there's been separation before right and that fault line is still right there so there'll be separation someday here and it's all known that they'll be there someday it's pretty safe because you would know about a major uptick it would be a major quake okay so basically you got 2.1 up there so anything everything is heightened and everybody's starting to be more aware that it's tons of stuff going on all over the world got volcano action Scroll through the latest uh, earthquake action there. We'll get down and we'll see the volcano activity. You see all this stuff going on. And then that, and then all these objects going by. And everything is intermingled, interlocked. Okay. So we got a pretty fast object 63, that's 17.69 kilometers a second through space. That's a fast boat. Okay. I'll have another fast boat here. Uh, another fast boat there, 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 and there, and then on into the future. You got to look for the, the fastest one we had was a few days back. 
and so watch out make sure that you listen if you're in any beach areas anywhere watch out for tsunami warnings after a big quake react and get to high ground okay folks and here's one of my videos that they do not want you to see okay so you need to really go check this video out it's yo new you know black and basically you will see some action that happened around the 22nd 21st out in space it'll just freak you out okay and i'm sure it's freaked out all kinds of scientists and so forth and so on so you got to go check this video out okay because you will be amazed and i don't have the footage right here you have to go look at it because it's in further in the video you need to watch every second usually a lot of times right at the end i threw something in because i just find it okay and who's good at spelling, ladies and gentlemen? Did anybody a good speller out there? Can anybody spell very good? Okay. Can anybody spell very good, ladies and gentlemen? Can you spell very good? Okay. Is anybody good at spelling? And, uh, yeah, psyops every day. Spells, folks. Psychological, hypnotists. Yep. And can anybody spell very good? Does anybody know how to spell very good? Okay. Does anybody know how to spell very good? Can anybody spell very good? Does anybody know how to spell? I don't know. Can does anybody know how to spell? This is the next president of the United States, ladies and gentlemen. The next president of the United States, ladies and gentlemen, is right there, Mr. Mitt Romney. All the money in the world, ladies and gentlemen. And every day when you fill up your tank and it don't matter your belly or whatever you fill up ladies and gentlemen you got a fuel tank there don't you in your tummy and it don't matter what it is ladies and gentlemen worldwide money spin ladies and gentlemen 24 7 okay and it don't matter what it no matter what it is a co-hearted effort of big money power and control it's not just this here it's also this here okay power and spin folks Everybody's a bunch of cats and dogs chasing their flipping tail because all the big money in the world runs the world, ladies and gentlemen. You are all but a feudal slave. You're an ant. You need to learn. You don't even have to go to college to figure this crap out. Just follow the money, ladies and gentlemen. Yep. If someone comes to bribe you and gives you money to do something, just do it. Otherwise, you're going to be smarter and not take the money and then just go about your own way and let... The big money, power, and control spin out of control because they can't get things done because even though they got all the money in the world, they don't get anything done. They don't get anything done for themselves. And then the public wins. Constitutional rights every day. Let us, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and germs, ladies and everybody, folks, asshole being all black, telling you the truth, how it is every day. Okay? So, who owns RTTV? Bullshit propaganda coming in and out your ass daily. Whether it's your ears, your elbows, or your nose, it's coming in and out of one of your orifices, and it's a bunch of crap, whether no matter what news agency you watch. The best thing you need to do is hang out with people you get along with. Yep. Power, money, and control, ladies and gentlemen. Holy spin doctors. All I know is this ain't no spin, folks. And if it is, then somebody in trouble in NASA, and it's not. It should be all scientifical. There's a big old flash to the right up on a planet doing not a, what we know to be a photo flare. It's a bunch of horse shit. What it is is a reactive flare to a CME. And as you see, the player probably pretty much locks up. So anyway, like I was saying, the video that I showed you to go watch, yo. Go watch Beano Black, yo. Okay. And you'll see what's going on out in space. And here we go. You got a reactive flare up here to the right to the CME action because we know that's the sun and the super giants to the left and it doesn't matter what planet up there we know Saturn is sitting there and we get a big old flash right here up through space and it's not a laser looking for a planet ladies and gentlemen a laser when it dies off it just dies off wherever it goes out into space however far a laser has ever been able to be known to be able to go a laser will shoot out into space almost infinite and if it's not infinite, when it does get to where it dies off, it just dies off. It won't be anything anymore. It'll be just like this, like this, the magneticism off of one of these planets. It'll just die out, okay? Die out to nothing. If it even does that, it might stay going in infinite. 
So that's a study that only NASA knows about, ladies and gentlemen, and they're not going to tell you.